All right, let's talk to... Now, it says Birdie here. I don't know why it doesn't call him Zazu, but apparently this isn't Zazu, because it calls him Zazu later. Oh, goodness. This wildebeest has lost its way, and there is no edible grass here for him to eat. Would you please herd him back to the green grass? Yes, I will do that. Now, I don't know if I've made it very clear thus far, but this is going to be a very informative Let's Play. I meant to make that clear. Meaning that I'm going to beat every single mission and collect every single collectible um, so that this will be the definitive Let's Play for this game online. Because there are a few Let's Plays for this game, and none of them are bad. I'm going to skip him for a second. Uh, and none of the- uh I'm so bad. None of the other Let's Plays are bad, but none of the other Let's Plays are complete. A lot of them just go through and play as all of the characters instead of doing what I consider the story mode, which is the kid. Um, and a lot of them just uh, do multiplayer. There's no way you're going to do it. All right. And I will show you right now the very easiest way to beat a high score is to do a lip trick and then just balance while you hit B and X and Y and it'll cycle between tricks and give you multipliers. And let's see, I need 15 by, oh I'm so bad. So let's see, all I need is like, that'll do it. Easy. Um, for those of you who didn't know, oh, how am I doing on time? Oh, man, I'm gonna have to have cut this into a second video. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Um, so yeah, I guess we're in the second video now, because I was not paying attention. Oh, I'm falling. This game, uh, uses the Tony Hawk 4 engine. See, that's a spin stat point. And it'll ask you to save every time you get one of those, which is ex extremely annoying. But yeah. We really need your help. Please chase Scar away from Pride Rock. I'm sure you can do it by grinding on the log that holds the huge boulder in place. All right, grinding on the log that holds the boulder in place. Look what happens when you go up to Scar, though. Ah, oh, I get you. Okay. Oh, I got a trick step on. No. Okay. So this game it uses the Tony Hawk 4 engine and plays a lot like a Tony Hawk game, but much cooler because there's uh, Disney characters and it's very kid centric. It's one of those games that's like kids are the best instead of just like people which is fine but yeah it's one of those alright and I just missed a gap I'm not gonna pay much attention to gaps if you look at the goals you can view goals which are these um, you can view the tricks, which are these unlockable things that happen when you collect all the collectibles. I think that's when those happen. And you can view gaps. Uh, like I made the throne rock gap. And they're just these little names for places where if you grind in a certain way or jump in a certain way, it gives you extra points. The lions need your help. Scar has blocked the spring on Pride Rock. Please follow the path of the golden mist to the top of Pride Rock. Then hit the blockage to open the spring. Alright, now we're going up to the top of the mountain, and we're going to knock the log out of the place, and it's going to be good. Now there's a hyena over there, which I'm pretty sure is the extreme score. Uh, because you can't do the extreme score missions before you do the high score missions. And later in the game, there will be more important unlockables. If you see that little floating Lion King logo right there, I don't know if you can see it very well. That is called the Kid Special. Or if we're playing as other characters, it will be the Lion King Special, the Toy Story Special, or the Tarzan Special. Um, and you that's one of the missions in the game, is to collect those. I wish they were harder to find, but most of the time, they're extremely easy. And we unlock the spring, or unplug the spring, and it's a wonderful time. Now, 
the magical waterfalls work and I will show you what the magical waterfalls do in just a sec and we got a finish line hat Woo! and we unlocked the elephant graveyard which is the second Lion King level and by unlock it well it means that if you play as characters it's unlocked but also that I can now show you where that is in Hollywood alright that's not where I wanted to go but uh sure I think this is Ozzy actually yeah that lazy worthless scar has hidden my feather pen in the jungle please retrieve it for me just grind on this tree limb to reach the feather then return it to me without falling without falling now I'm disappointed with how much they elaborate how to get to this place because it's it's the most secret place in this level and then they're like this is how to get to it and he's like awesome I wish I could feel accomplished this is a really easy game like the reason that there's no good Let's Plays of it online isn't that it's hard, it's just that people don't do it. But I wanted to take the time to show everybody how to get everything in the game. For instance, I just did a gap right there. Um, and then what did he say to do? Return it to him? So, go back up. And I'll show you what waterfalls do in just a sec. Oh man, there is a waterfall in that little secret area. Um, where is he? Is he up there? Yeah, he's up there. Man, I really wish we could listen to the music in this game. I already have it stuck in my head. Now, I must go back to work at and we got a new shirt. And it's tied eyed Hooray, hooray. Oh, okay. So, I guess I will show you the waterfall that's in the little secret area so we can make a little more use of it. And now we're out on top of the mountain. It's like a magical. I fell off. But yeah, and each waterfall takes you to a slightly different place. Um, and each one of these branches, or a lot of these branches, have a little metal hanging off of them. And I'm trying to do it so that I don't do all of the missions before I get all the collectibles, so that you have to sit here and watch me get all the collectibles. And I think at the end, I will edit together a Just Collectibles video or videos. Uh, because that is one of the hardest things in the game. Not because it's difficult, but because you're going to miss one. Like, it's really difficult not to just miss one. Alright. Oh, I made it. Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to save, you jerk. Let's save. Yes. Oh, I fell. Okay. So now I like where they put the kids special in this level because it's one of the coolest things you can do in this level. I fell on the ground. That's fantastic. All right. And I gotta make sure that I'm still looking at the time because I don't know how many videos I'm gonna record right now, but I'm gonna record at least like four, I think. So if you're commenting like, you didn't do a thing, I'm not going to see it until later. Or I won't be able to implement it until later. I'll see it as soon as you comment it. I'm very good about monitoring comments. Okay, now we get on this branch here. And we got it to this branch. Oh, I totally missed. Alright, and I will occasionally make noises and see if I am the character. Uh, which isn't done for effect. It's done out of habit. And I'm also trying not to breathe super heavily into this microphone because I do still have a little bit of a cold right now. I think this is the extreme score. Scar's extreme score can't be beat. Now these will get a little bit harder once we get to the harder levels. Darn it. Alright. Lip trick. Lip trick. All we need is three times ten. Or something that equals the same thing. And I got a faux leopard shirt. I don't understand why they have to call it faux leopard when it's talking about a t-shirt. Because it's pretty well understood that it's not a real leopard. 
t-shirt, and that's a stupid thing to say. Alright, so, um, how many goals have we done so far? Let's view our goals. There's only one that we've missed, and it was that hyena I skipped a while ago. And then, just getting the rest of the, um, collectible medals and stuff. Alright, um, oh, there's one, actually. So we're gonna really, really carefully... Who's you? Okay, so we're gonna get here, and then we're gonna turn really quickly. It's kinda dark over here, it's hard to see. We're not gonna go into the jungle. And we're gonna get on this grind. And we got it. That's excellent. By the way, this little thing, if you go to it, it asks if you want to warp to Hollywood. But we don't, because we're not done. We still have one mission. We still have five more collectibles. Alright, where are we time-wise? We're, we're still alright time-wise, I think. I'm not really sure where I cut that last video because I forgot to pay attention. And by the way, I apologize that the quality of this video is not the best that it could be. I don't have a Roxio or a Dazzle. I'm using like a $7 easy cap uh, with some extra cables I bought. Hey, bet you can't collect skates. Oh, of course, you yeah. I haven't collected skate yet in this level. Now, skate is not hard to collect, but I will often fail. Like I think I just did there. Like, yep, I missed a K. So, the best thing to do is just to go back and retry gold. Um, oh, I think K is at the end of this branch. Oh, man. Alright. And I just don't have very good jumps right now. This mission would be a lot easier if I had gone around Hollywood and uh, collected all that stuff. Um, and then there's an E, and I think the E is just in here. No, it's not. Where's the E? What? Okay. Here, we're gonna go. So that was a really poor example of how to collect skate, but it's okay. I practiced it a lot on um, the, the overworld in Hollywood, which if you can't figure out what that means, Hollywood is a play on the words Hollywood, which is a city, and, or, I don't even know if it's a city, technically. Um, and Ollie, which is this. This is an Ollie. It doesn't really give you a score for Ollies, but if you spin, when you do the Ollie, it'll give you, like, a 180 Ollie. Try not to burp into the microphone, because I am not Nintendo Capri, son. And if you don't get that reference, that's okay. Nintendo Capri Sun is cool. I do have a lot of Let's Players that I watch and that I follow that I think are pretty good. Um, I like Nintendo Capri Sun a lot. I My favorite is probably Chugga Conway. I don't want to talk too much about other Let's Players, but I do need to keep talking. Commentary is hard. Keep in mind, again... Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. This is my first Let's Play ever. Um, I think there's a collectible down there. This is my first Let's Play ever, so I'm not gonna be the best that no one ever was. Um, but I'm learning, and hopefully I'll get good enough so that when I get to the games that I really want to play, um, I'll be awesome and good. Um, I totally missed just now. Oh, that's how to get to that. Yep. Yeah. Um... Because I do have a lot of games that I really want to get to and play. Uh, one of which being Sonic Adventure 2. And I know that every single person and their mother has Let's Played Sonic Adventure 2. But it is one of my favorite games of all time, if not my favorite game of all time. Um, and I just want to... Oh! And I just want to play it. Um, and also show how much I know about that game. Because I know a lot about that game. And I've only watched a few Let's Plays of it, but a lot of them just go through the story missions. <laughs> oh man, my nose is stuffy. And I would at least like to go through... Oh, okay, it's been 30 minutes. Uh, I would at least like to go through the getting the child missions. But that is it for episode 2 of Let's Play uh, Disney Extreme Skate with Gray. I'm Gray. Let's play. I'll see you later. Now. We'll cut it now.